Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to Postgres database table and run delete query using PHP PDO. Now make sure that you have PHP installed through servers such as WAMP, XAMPP or even with Ami. Okay, so after that, also make sure that you have your Postgres database service running and have one database and a table in it. Okay, in my case, I have simple table for company with three columns such as ID, name and age and I have some data dumped into it. Okay, I'm going to run delete query to remove one of the row from it. Okay, so create one sample.php file. Okay, and next thing is here we are going to add try and catch block. Okay. And inside that, so we just use video exception E. Okay, and next thing is echo that exception E and call for get message. Okay, so once you do that you are ready to handle your errors. Next thing within try block, what we're gonna do is we are going to create my PDO. This will call for PDO class within which we are gonna instantiate our host, which is going to be localhost. Then semicolon and database name set to test PD. Then comma and within double quotes make sure to have postgres and then comma and then you have to also add password demo1234 okay after you do that you are ready to execute your first query which is going to be sql underscore query one okay i just named it to separate two queries okay now here my query is going to be delete from my table name is company where id equals to seven so my id seven won't be available in result then i'm going to execute my video and then call for query and here i'm going to use SQL query one. Okay, next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run SQL query and here select star from company and I'm gonna fetch this result in a for loop or you can use a for each and make it better. Um, you can use my PDO to run our query first right and then call for this sql adds rules okay now here i'm gonna use print then break then print again and here let's start printing our rows one by one id then single quote dash single quote dot and then we will simply use name and age okay let's also add one dash here so that it can separate the result and then finally break right and end it okay so we have id name and age everything properly printed out and it should remove our seventh result you can pause the video go through the code check if there are any errors just in case if i missed it before executing and let's go through it we have all properly written 
separate from company i missed that one okay then executed that query then created select query so that we can print the output okay and here is our output so open browser and here i'm going to type in 127.0.0.1 slash sample php okay and hit enter and here you see my seventh id is now remote okay that means our delete query worked on postgres database table you can pause the video go through the code and execute it on your own